Welcome to Pin the World. I'm Laura. I'm Ryan. And we're going on an adventure. All right, guys. So welcome to a weekend in our life. Yeah. What are we doing today? Well, it is Saturday, April the 6th, and we are venturing to Hamilton. Yeah. The town, not the play. <laughs> <laughs> so we are headed out to our local pin event. We're very excited because this is the first one of the year. So there's three now because they have a summer date. So we'll see which ones we end up hitting up this year. I'm not so sure, but we are headed to one today and we're looking forward to seeing everybody yeah. and purchasing some pins, maybe trading some pins. It's a and... little bit different than, than the last year for pin events. So uh, we don't have a table this yeah. year. That's a bit of a change. I'm sort of looking forward to that change, to be honest, just because <laughs> it'll allow us to uh, sort of replicate how it all started. We can be sort of out there looking at the pins together, which is a lot of fun. Yeah. I don't think we'll be there from open to close. In fact, I know we won't be there for open. Yeah, which is in like five minutes. From but now. yeah, we, we have uh, nothing strictly planned out, but there's a lot in the area. So we'll we'll see what we get up to because we'll do a couple things other than the pin event too. Yeah, yeah. Then tomorrow being Sunday, we'll just be kind of a day at home. So we'll bring you along for that as well. So let's get going. Well, guys, this is the highway. If we ever get through here, Alive, we're gonna get to the pin event. We're not in England. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so those people driving on the wrong side, uh, we did pass a crash um, on the other side of the divided highway. Of course, hope everybody involved is gonna be okay. But uh, yeah, this is a new one. I've, I've not seen people <laughs> turn around. around to try to uh, abort, I but guess. We but we brought snacks. So that's good. And we're actually having a car lunch today. So I might be getting into that pretty soon because clearly we're going nowhere fast. <laughs> we made it and we're in the car. We're parked really far back because it looks like it's really friggin' busy there. But we're gonna eat pizza. So we get a coupon for- And celery. Yes, gotta be healthy and my favorite, root beer. So we had a coupon for- Whoa, is that like drinking and driving? No, it's not. We had a coupon for pizza. I don't even know, can you see it? There's our pizza, it's cold. <laughs> but we had a coupon and it was a really good price. So we ended up ordering two and we were like, sweet, we'll bring the leftovers. Ooh. The jalapeno and... stuck to the side. Ooh. But anyways, yeah, so, you know. It's just, there's not lunch at the event and it's, yeah. you know. It's like you'd get to the event, you'd stay for an hour and a half, maybe you're not done, then you'd get hungry for lunch because it's yeah. lunchtime and you'd have to, you know, go somewhere else that's sort of cumbersome and then you still want to yeah. come back. So we just thought, we'll try something different this year. We'll have an early lunch in the car. The pizza was just sort of serendipitous. The other plan was just, just get like breakfast sandwiches mm -hmm. from uh, like from Starbucks or something on the way and, and do that just to uh, tide us over, but yeah. So we're we'll gonna get into it. We're gonna eat and then we'll see you guys in the pin event. Look at it. It's baby Mickey and baby Minnie, and for some reason they're playing golf. Car. the pin event is over for us for us it's still going on 15 minutes for uh, the vendors <laughs> yeah so we Ooh. will definitely show you a haul a little bit later but for now we even went to a, a mall quick which is right across the street so oh, in yeah. addition to the hall there there could be a little unboxing there is but not right now so stay tuned I'm looking for Mickey and I really hope these are Mickey. Fingers crossed. Might not be. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna actually put those in the back. But yeah, uh, we're largely yeah. done with the uh, Disney portion of the day, I would say. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's that time in the afternoon where we go looking for coffee and uh, we're going to try something new. I think I've found a unique <laughs> 
a spot for, for some coffee. Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Maybe we're gonna find a spot to park and walk around outside because it's a really nice day, finally. And hopefully we're gonna catch some cool dinner tonight. We don't really know where, so stay tuned. Do we have to catch it? Like fish? Like... Yeah, yeah, at the pier. Okay. Yeah, okay, so let's go. Hoy there, mateys. We are uh, just killing a bit of time at the uh, the waterfront. Neat little pier area. But the Ordor too is not here. Yeah, the He's... last time we were here, we got to see our friend the uh, the tugboat. Yeah, but which we're might walking. just be a Canadian reference. Uh, we're walking. We're enjoying the sun, and that's that. We found something to try for dinner, and we got to go. Maybe we got to work for it. A terrible downpour guys it's storming I've never seen anything like this I probably should have my hands on the wheel and be prepared and be looking at the road <laughs> oh you're such a funny guy we're in the car wash it's been a while since we had a wash like all winter and yeah though this winter wasn't really a winter our car is still filthy dirty so you know, here we are. So we made it back into town. And that dinner was yummy. Yeah. Yep. But we're gonna do this car wash and then head for home. And I know we have a dishwasher to unload, which is super boring. And then I don't know what the rest of the night holds because it's only 7:38, which is I don't know, it's not bad. So see you later. Hello everybody. Happy Sunday. It is the next day, <laughs> so. Good morning. Yeah, um, it's about 11 o'clock. We haven't gotten up to too much today so far, <laughs> except for like laundry and I made overnight oats and like. Third load is in, like, you are cleaning the car. Yeah. I had a little trimming of, uh, of the beard. <laughs> it's not even lunchtime, so yeah. I, I think it's been a pretty productive Sunday morning. Yeah, so. Um, we're just here to recap the event yesterday and to share our haul with you guys. So it was a pretty good day. Yeah. The event was crazy busy when we first got there. Um, we kind of just made our rounds and chatted to everybody, which was really nice. And we did a, a little bit of shopping and then we actually did more trading than purchasing. Yeah, that's that's so. a new one. You had lots of luck, which is great. Yeah. So yeah, I guess we'll uh, we'll show you some of the cool things that we uh, that we scored. Yeah, and I think we should start with these. So these two came from Hot Topic because we did go over to the mall, and we are hoping that these are Mickey Mouse. One of them, anyways. Yeah. That's the only one. You we have, need. So you have seven of eight then. Yes. Okay. Yes. Well, let's uh, let's get into it. Because yesterday, see. you'll see, we traded for one. Ooh. Pre-trade with somebody. So, yeah. I think I'm in there first, so I'll go ahead. Fingers crossed for Mickey. Mickey, Mickey. Oh no, it's not Mickey. No, it's not. Okay, it's a chipmunk. That'll it's make a, a good chip trader. Monk. It must be Chip. Yeah. Oh. Still cute. Okay. So here's mine. I'm trying not to look at the back. I can't tell which way it's going. I think it has to go this way. Oh no! Okay, well, it's Daisy. So we are still looking for Mickey. I feel like, I feel like nobody has him. So if you have him, please <laughs> let us know on our Instagram. Disney.pin.love. <laughs> Because we need him. Yeah. Okay, but yeah, on to, um, do you want to do the purchases? Maybe do the trades. Do you okay. want to start with uh, the one that you yeah. traded for? Yeah, so I pre-traded with Wanda. She needed Goofy and Wanda had Donald. 
Yeah, so that, uh, well, that brought us uh, another one eighth of the way there and we're still one eighth of the way away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then we traded with Caitlin. She has the channel Magically Caitlin, so check her out. And I don't know why, but I've recently become kind of obsessed with these ugly food carts. So she had Goofy and I actually traded her a Goofy pin. So it was Goofy for Goofy. So that was great to trade with you. And yeah, what do you like? I mean, it's weird, right? It like, is weird, but I, I mean, I, Oh mind it. Like it's just tacos cool. too? Yeah. Jeez, this is painful before lunch. I know. Alright, so we have leftovers from dinner last night, so I think that's what yes. we're gonna do. Yeah. Is this a trade too? Yep, this is a trade. So I traded within the set. So I actually had an Alu Mel and she was fine to trade Karuna is her name. She was fine to trade for Alu Mel. And she gave me mini, which means we only, I believe, need two more from that set. So I'm not like in desperate need to complete that, but now that we're so much closer. So close, yeah. it gets <laughs> tempting. Okay, and then next we did a really big trade with somebody named Megan, and she comes to our events over from the States. So we traded for five pins. So I got Bambi Reflection and this really cute my summer vacation his briefcase says i'm going to disney world <laughs> that we are well, that not that sounds pretty good <laughs> but that, that would be you know summer vacation well spent this one is so funny it's kind of like um kind of puffy i've got my eye on the finish line so this pin's actually from 2023 i had never seen it i guess it was is it like a run disney like, one i don't know it just says springtime surprise weekend it's limited edition of five Hundred, which is crazy Neat. and then we got another food cart so she had a few and i was having a hard time picking but i decided to go with donald uh, i don't know what he's serving maybe some crab <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> weird yep <laughs> and then we got this one a little sleeping thumper so this one's Aww. a lounge fly pin so that was so great to trade she had a really great i, I get overwhelmed like trading with people because i'm like uh oh, values like it's just kind of tricky because everybody has different ideas but she essentially like looked at my book and pulled out what she liked and then we kind of like lined them up so if I saw something in her book I was like oh would you trade for that and she's like yeah I would trade it for like whatever I had a Jafar pin so for instance and she put the pin I wanted beside the Jafar that was going to be kind of like the trade for trade so it just I don't know yeah it, it, was, was, it was, seemed like, like a it, good little system yeah for you both. it made it clear and then everybody kind of like gets to see and make sure that they're getting what they want for what they're giving away. Yeah, doing a multi-trade, just sort of trying to break it down to like a one-to-one -one or, yeah. you know, one-to-two, whatever, but just uh, having that, that sort of crisp uh, this for that kind of thing. Yeah, and then this was a pre-trade with Taylor. So okay. we traded on the Canadian pin group, but then we both learned that we were gonna be in the Ham at the Hamilton event. So this one will be going back into my traders, but Stitch always makes a great trader. So, oh, and then this one, sorry, goes with the trade from Sure. <laughs> this is a very nice pin, I must say. Very uh, sort of random. <laughs> so they have a series. I think it might've been like a booster set or a lanyard set, but it's like the Cars characters with like Disney World or Disneyland attractions. Yeah. So it's so I mean, random, just but- I'm blanking on the name, but obviously Guido. with pirates. We know with pirates. Because Luigi's the yellow guy. There you go. And then I think on to the final trade of the day. Yeah. And then we'll get into the purchases. It's not that many. Yeah, so, so this is kind of a pre-trade as well. So Sue, who's our Canadian Kraken trade rep, wanted an Olumel pin that I was trading. And she said, oh, stop by my table. And so we ended up doing, we did two for one for this one because she kind of had it priced a little bit higher than I was valuing Olumel. And it is a limited edition of 1,000 from 2003. Awesome. That, so wow, I think, yeah, for, I, think um, I wouldn't have guessed it was that old just looking at it. Yeah, I think that's going to look great though in our Dumbo collection. And I love that it has just like a little Timothy mouse wow. and it says friends. I wonder if there's one that said best because they did a lot of those like best friend series, but I don't know. Anyways, um, on to the purchases. Yeah. So I guess we'll start with this one because it's random and then everything else is literally from Gabe. So <laughs> Gabe's the gentleman who hosts these events for us and he always has amazing pins. But anyways, this one is from Susan. 
So I, you will see in some updated pin mail because spoiler alert, we have caught up on our pin mail. So the videos are gonna be like, we filmed quite in advance, but anyway, so we are caught up. But when we finally do like our new packages, I traded recently with Charlan for this Pedro pin. So I don't really know anything about him, but essentially he's like a little airplane that like delivers mail and he's from a short and Sue had this pin and it is like glittery and he's kind of drinking the gasoline and it's got the Don't date. try that at home kids. <laughs> yeah, and it says LE of 1000, which is pretty cool. And I just like, obviously you guys know I love planes. So I just think this is so cute. So yeah. Nice. <laughs> Well, the next one, this is uh, maybe the first, the very first pin that I saw at the event that sort of stood out to me. So very early on, mm -hmm. but just felt that uh, we had to have it. We've been lucky enough to spend a few nights at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which was really special. So, uh, you know, of course, as we've gotten to stay at a, a few more Disney resorts over the years, we want to have pins for each one that we've uh, we've stayed at. Yeah. And this this was the nicest Animal it's, Kingdom Lodge pin I've ever seen, and I've, yeah. I've not seen it before. We do have an Animal Kingdom Lodge pin that we just essentially got because I feel like there isn't a lot, but it's kind of yeah. weird. Like it has almost, do you remember it? It has like the yeah. ducks and they just look kind of weird. Like it has like the nephews, I think, and they just, it looks kind of weird, but that one is very, very nice. I do like resort pins that have the Disney characters the most, but this one is just really pretty. I love this one, so, so yeah. yeah, good good find. Awesome, so then another resort pin that we got that we've never been to and we probably will never go to is this um, Vero Beach Resort. So the reason we got that, of course, is because it's Mickey and Minnie looking super cutie there. And then there is a turtle in the water that Minnie is kind of looking at and admiring, so we just had to have that because yeah, checks a lot turtles. of boxes for us and uh, some mini feet. Oh, and right Mickey up. toes. Mickey toes oh, are totally yeah. peeking out over the top of his sandals. So you guys know that is my weird random collection that I have on the side. Um, so, so yeah, Mickey mini, Mickey mini feet turtle. How could we not? Yeah. <laughs> and a great, beautiful old pin. I do love old pins. Now, next up, mini in uh, some sort of cosmopolitan looking Asian city. So it reminds me, you sort of have like a selfie series yeah. one where- She's wearing the exact same outfit. So I'll put a picture on her Instagram. We already talked about that, but um, I think I think it must be related even though one was a mystery box and then this one seems to be like an open edition. Yeah, so it's, it's uh, from the Shanghai Disney Resort. It's 2020, it's LE of 800. Wow. And it's uh, pretty honky, like pin on pin. Mm -hmm. It's very, yeah, very, very nice. Yeah, and it just says, enjoy life. And it's just, it's so cute and so happy. I love Kawhi. it. Kawaii. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so then we had to get this one because I am in love with Robin Hood. So this is one of those like older, Countdown to the Millennium series pins, and it is of Robin Hood. So for $10 Canadian, you know, just had to have it. Super cute. How about you bring us home with the last one too? Okay, this is not really the last one. We did get a pin. We're not gonna show you guys today because it may have to do with a very special announcement coming soon, right? She's not pregnant. I'm not pregnant. It has nothing to do with that, <laughs> but it is a pin that is hopefully, it's just very exciting. Yeah. So stay tuned. I no know. summer vacation we, we mentioned when we showed that pin, but maybe there will still be a 2024 vacation. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> so I'm not pregnant either. Yeah, that, that doesn't work. But anyways, here we have this pin. So it is from the Love is an Adventure series. I think, uh, what does it say? 2019, is this, I think this was an Epcot event, like one of those pin trading events, I think. But anyways, it says Love is True and it has my favorites, Figaro, Geppetto, Pinocchio. So I had to have that. And that is a limited release pin. So just very cute. Yeah. And yeah, so overall we only, we did very well, I think, because we traded for a lot of pins, and yeah, we grabbed some good, some great 
pin, spent a bit of money, but it was it was quite uh, restrained, I would say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the trading and was really fun. I think we both sort of said, so some quick impressions. The highlight more and more as we go to more and more of those events is the people, just uh, catching up with friends, seeing some folks that you only see at these events. Yeah. We've got a, a, you know, a pretty healthy or unhealthy depending on your perspective, pin collection as it is. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, there's, there's sort of less and less to, uh, to sort of surprise you or, or gems to uncover, but you mm -hmm. know, we managed to uncover a few, which is, which is fun. Yeah. But yeah, it was nice to go around together, not having a table this year and, uh, yeah, just again, bump into and catch up with so many friends. So, uh, maybe just shouting out some of our, our fellow YouTubers <laughs> and other friends. So uh, other friends, first of all, Jay and Chantel, it was uh, so nice to uh, catch up with you guys. And they were right next to our friends, uh, Kira, Sam, and Joanne. We didn't get to see Kevin because he's down south right now. So mm -hmm. I, I'll have to snuggle up with uh, Kevin in pillow form that we have. We won't get into <laughs> that story. And then, uh, yeah, Jen Maynard, yep. we, we got to meet for the first time. She also has a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah. And, and the uh, name is... I think just she's just Jen Maynard. Maynard. Okay, I, I Maybe thought I'll, so. I'll link everybody okay. that we chatted with that has a YouTube channel. I yeah, and that. then you mentioned you did a trade with Magically Caitlin and it was yeah. lovely to catch up with her. She was sharing a table with Brandon from It's Always Sunny. We missed Heidi, but Brandon's gonna have a lot of DCP content coming up because he's going away on another cultural exchange program. Yep. And uh, of course, of course, our dear <laughs> friend, Princess Serena. And Sophia the First. Yes, what a duo. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that was... Uh, that was great, I, you know, not, I hope I haven't missed anybody, but just, yeah, that's, that's a fun yeah. part of it. Nice to, to sort of, you know, promote, I suppose. Yes, and we did meet a pretty famous Instagrammer as well, Adventures yeah. with Nikita. So we chatted with her about a potential upcoming trip. So we better stop. We're gonna spoil it pretty soon. Yeah, Laura's but, uh, more you're, you're <laughs> more more suggestive than I thought you would be. Okay. Well, so yeah, so that is our haul and our little pin event update. And I guess in terms of the rest of the day, we're gonna head out to the grocery store. We're gonna eat some lunch, and we're gonna go for a walk. It's finally yeah. sunny. It's finally kind of decently nice out, and. Probably just gonna, I'm gonna deal with all these pins and... Mm, It'll still just, be a quick day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just try to take it easy on a Sunday afternoon, but it'll it'll still fly by. But yeah, we'll busy ourselves with some fun things and uh, show you what sort of makes sense. Yeah, so we'll catch you guys later. Lunchtime and clearly we had a mountain of food last night at the restaurant we went to. Uh, so we are eating leftover birani rice and we're gonna microwave the leftover curry and our onion pakotis and then we also have an avocado that somehow we're just gonna, I don't know, do something with. Something that I've gotten into with a bit of my free time this afternoon is uh, just set up a little secondary space for my second amp, a guitar, and I just put together like a uh, well, it's, it's not really very nicely organized in terms of cable management, but like a little second pedal board just because I have some extra pedals that aren't on my main board and I, I like to rotate them. So I have a few in a drawer. So just thought, oh, I can make use of those ones when they're off rotation and in the drawer and just sort of have a little secondary setup. <laughs> So I'm going to turn the camera on and show you what we got. Green bananas for the week. <laughs> and strawberries were on sale, so that was awesome. Milk. We just drink basic milk. We're not fancy with like oat milk and whatever. And then these guys are on sale. So when you are a member of PC Optimum, remember they were only $2. So for five bars, that is pretty good. So banana, strawberry, and carrot cake and 
banana bread with real chocolate chip, not fake. And then Jameson vitamins were 50% off. So I have been relying on these. I don't want to talk about it too much, but I have not been sick this season, essentially, like since I started my new job. So I do take these like maybe every other day kind of. Um, so that, and then I, oh yeah, sponge. I wanted to try this. So I do feel, it's not been confirmed by a doctor, but I do feel that I am slightly iron deficient. So these are a little chewable and you take them with the meal. So I'm gonna give these a try. There's 45 of them, so we'll, we'll give it a shot. And Ryan, scrolling on the couch, because he stays out of the way when we get groceries, right? Uh, yes, at your request. <laughs> no, because he's lazy. We got salt too, bags of salt, and we already brought that downstairs, so you yeah. know, that's a workout for the day. You didn't need to see me struggle with that, so. <laughs> We've been keeping busy this Sunday afternoon, and time always goes, no matter what we do, I find time always goes quick on a Sunday afternoon, whether we're busy or whether we're just sort of, uh, you know, hobby time. There's always certain boxes we want to check. We did just come in from a nice walk. It is lovely out there. One of the mm -hmm. first days where it really feels like spring. Finally. And we're getting to that time where uh, it's afternoon coffee time, which is a weekend ritual that we love. Yes. And I am making a bagel because I felt like it and I want to finish the cream cheese. So there's that. And I think we're going to wrap up this vlog here because yeah. the rest of the day, we're just not getting up to too much. Actually, let me show you guys. But it's, it's that wind down from four o'clock. It's always the same for us, I think, on a Sunday. Woo. Oh, there goes the toaster. So I'm going to start this puzzle. I think I'm going to get into this today. So this is the... Oh, you can't see me. <laughs> this is the 1961, and I have done the 1951. So I think I'm going to get started on that and I don't know, yeah. you're probably going to play we'll some have guitar. Our, yeah, we'll have our coffee, Laura's going to do some puzzling, I might do some guitaring, that's right, I use it as a verb, or uh, maybe get the laptop out and just, you know, some, some online kind of errands. But look <laughs> forward to enjoying the coffee. Um, we're having a, what are we having for dinner tonight? Sausage, sausage tortellini sausage, soup? Yeah, sausage and tortellini soup. We've showed some, it here before, so we're not going to show you again, but it's yummy. Yeah, yeah. and I just frankly want to wrap this video up and get it edited so that you guys can see it as soon as possible. So let us know in the comments down below how your weekend was. That's a new one. Yeah. Let us know. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Ours was great. It always flies by, which sucks, but um, yeah, so that's a wrap. So we will see you guys in the next one.